Holly Olsen was an unknown 20-year-old when he first arrived in British Speedway on April the 24th, 1967, possessing just a bike, 75 pounds, and a very special talent. His mentor was another track immortal, Ivan Major, who skillfully guided him through his early track career. His progress was sensational. By 1971 in Sweden, he was crowned World Speedway Champion for the first time, and it was obvious there were more titles to come. Here he comes, and let's just let the crowd of Wembley take over to salute the new Speedway Champion of the World, Arnie Olsen of Wolverhampton in Denmark, and here he comes now. around the pit corner safely circumnavigating it Simmons has tried hard but he's just got a lap to go 344 meters for Ernie Olsen and that world crown and the pitchers and the noise will surely tell their own story the Great Dane proving to be one of Speedway's all-time greats. His third win, and he rightly is jubilant. Last weekend, after 17 glorious years, Olsen said farewell to Speedway on an emotional occasion before 20,000 devoted fans at his British track Coventry. The sport could hardly have paid this man a bigger compliment because the field for the 1983 World Final reassembled to ensure that Olsen bowed out in style. These aspiring juniors over from Denmark for the day emphasized that it wasn't just his on-track ability that elevated Olsen into Speedway's all-time greats. He inspired his nation Denmark and almost single-handed trained successive generations of kids like these to become world champions. It was a job that ITV caught him doing 10 years ago. If you think I'm gonna give all the secrets away, you're wrong. I only be be we keep that in Denmark, you see. One of Olsen's products is Eric Gunderson, and Gary Newborn asked his appraisal of the greatest Dane of them all. Uh, well, we ride against one another in the British League, but like when we're uh, racing in the team for Denmark, um, he's done so tremendously well to get us all geared up, you know, to go, go out and win for our country, you know, and uh, he's got a special way of uh, getting us revved up, you know, for, for, for the big occasions. And um, But I still think that Ollie will be there next year, uh, hopefully as a team manager for the Danish team. So, um, we're just looking forward to that. Although clean and classy in style, when team riding, Olsen's tactics could be ruthless. And again, it's Olsen who's made a very clean start. He leads it. In second place, it's Muller. Nielsen trying a hard run around the outside with the dirt. Is it Olsen? is shut it right down. And down has gone Muller. And down too has gone Gilgen Reimer. And it, it'll be interesting to see again because it looked as though Olsen almost got off and stopped to bulk. Egon Muller there. Muller is still down to allow his partner to come through. Now at the end of another era, last weekend showed Olsen still in vintage form. The thorough professional, master track tactician, totally in control and showing at 36 that he can still show many of his own brilliant protégé the fastest way to the chequered flag. Idolised at Coventry, Olsen has admirers worldwide. Here's the new world champion from West Germany, Egon Müller. Oli, I think he's uh, one of the greatest riders we had ever because he gives uh, Speedway such a big support in his own country. You see, all the young fellows, they might be world champion in the future. And uh, he did uh, a lot of work to the supporters and British Speedway and around the world and Australia and New Zealand. I think he always did very, very well. And away they go. And it's Davis who shows in front. Davis leads it. Hack is in second place. They tighten up. The Russian Maximov. Here's a surprise around the outside. And Russia leads it. Olsen now predicts some pressure on Davis. But uh, the Russians brought in their reserve. And it turns out it might be a bit of a trump card. Because Olsen looks as though he's gone around the outside of Davis as they tear in to the bottom corner. And Davis has been squeezed out. And it's getting tight. And Olsen has come from third to first. And John Davis for England has gone to the back. Here's Olsen's ridden a beautiful race, must be said. 
Unquestionably, Oli Olsen in front once again in his last meeting will go into Speedway's history books alongside the Immortals. Louis Wilkinson, Jack Young, Ovi Funden, Ronnie Moore, Barry Briggs, Ivan Major. Yes, Olsen's all-round ability, aggression and racing appetite places him on the same lofty level as any of them. Even the contemporary world champions agree about that. Here's England's last winner. Michael Lee, what does Oli Olsen mean to you? Well, all you can say about Oli is he's got to be one of the great professionals of our sport, you know. I mean, I, I've had good and bad times with Oli, but he's always been a good competitor and he's one of the hardest guys to race against. And I'm sorry to see him leave the sport, but best wishes to him. How much is the sport going to miss him? Oh, it's going to miss him a hell of a lot. As I say, he's been one of the great professionals. He's done so much for the sport over the past 10 years or so, you know. And, you know, it's just a pity he's going. But like he says, he's got business interests and I'm sure, you know, he's got to give it up eventually best to give it up when you're on top as well. And it's Olsen from the outside and Nelson and Pendles in third place with those powering through now on the inside. He's up under Olsen. Will Olsen be able to hold him out? They hit the pit corner together and again it is Olsen, the old dog, who can still show them a few tricks. Ivan, what sort of competitor was Ollie Olsen to you? Well, probably the hardest competitor I had over a period of time on Speedway. Barry Briggs was always very hard competitor, but on all different sports, but Ollie was the hardest rider I had to race against for about 15 years, and we had a lot of battles together. Now Kennett going back under Olsen, Major still in front, he's not going very quickly, and Olsen trying the outside, running Kennett trying the inside, into the pitch corner, something's got to give here, and it's over Major. Olsen's farewell meeting was won by England's Kenny Carter, but inevitably, Ollie was in with a shout right to the last. He finished joint third overall, but went into a runoff with yet another of his Danish discoveries, Hans Nielsen. Fittingly, Olsen proved to be a winner in his very last race. The shy Scandinavian kid who came to England almost skint, fired only by his own ambition, leaves Speedway as a millionaire. No one begrudges him a penny. He's earned it. And he's certainly leaving a legacy, a legacy of a million memorable moments, not only as a great rider, as an outstanding ambassador, but always as a gentleman and sportsman. Triple World Speedway champion, captain of the World Team Cup champions Denmark, and inspiration extraordinary. That is Oli Olsen. But at the storybook end to a Danish fairy tale that has come true, World Speedway today will experience sadness that the final chequered flag has fallen on the career of Oli Olsen. He's one of the greats and possibly the last of them too, in a Speedway world where machinery is rapidly becoming more important than the men who ride it. There was more than one dampi at Coventry as the curtain fell for a Speedway Goliath, and it wasn't the rain to blame. Even though it was drizzling, not one of the 20,000 fans left before Olsen's last farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it is getting to me now to realize that I'm going to, this was my last lap I did on Speedway. And um, if you don't mind, I know I was third today. I'm going to step up on the number one spot, not because I want to think that I want it, but I would like to get up there because I have something I think special I want to tell you all. <clears throat> so you'll excuse me on the number one. Sorry, Kenny. <clears throat> yeah. As uh, I was telling Charles, you know, it's not rain, it's me crying because it is very, very sad for me to stop. But then again, it has a little bit of a feeling as well because I owe so much to England. England has done everything for me. I came over here only with my bike and uh, it was, um, I, I remember years back and it has just given me so much this sport. And uh, all of you coming here today, it is unreal that what it's given me a pleasure. Thank you. The fireworks spell it out. Olsen will be sadly, sadly missed. 
He has been an exciting, integral part of a decade when ITV has followed Speedway around the world and televised Speedway truly just won't be the same without Olsen. Right now, a giant is leaving the stage he has graced.